Yep, bag out. This time we're in the village of Scotland again. Oh, I stood in some puddles. I've locked it. And um, I'm meeting some people. So we'll just take this in. I may as well turn around. We're just gonna wing it, and then tomorrow we've got another plan. Then we'll see where we'll get to. But for now, book and burn, gale and burn. There's a bit of language in this video, mate. Weather's superb. It's perfect. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you when you watch it. When you watch it back, I will be. Him. He's in his natural habitat. <laughs> Here we see we rab in his natural habitat. Come in. He's already been caressing Bruce's stain quite inappropriately. Look at that. That's obviously the west mountains. We're on the right path. It's boggy to start with, but it's all right now. See, it's eased up a bit. But we're heading right into all this wilds, middle of nowhere. I think it's a seven mile walk. Whew. Crack on. Sun sets in the west. It's quite high up now. I think we've got. We've got at least another hour to go, like for that sun, before it gets really dark. Five past four. The golden hour. Colours. The beach. Stomach's in. Feeling it. You really warm me. Aye, well. Doing better than I thought it would be. Aye. Well, I thought it was tougher than I thought, were you? I didn't think it'd be as steep as well as a bit of a uh, easier on the map. walk in the park. Always looks easier on the map. We've uh, we've arrived for Mark Thompson. Right. This is the rig of the darkness. It's here. It's a stair. That's the start of the rig of the darkness. And it goes along there onwards. That's where that's where it starts. So that's your rig, Mark. Here's your rig, folks. But we're going this way. One of many things. Through all this. Look at this. Ah, uh, this is what you're missing, Marco. Ah, uh, you're missing all the. <laughs> The lovely, uh, oh, it's right in it. There's no way out of this. Like, ah, <laughs> oh, God, the things you do. Oh, oosh. Right, can I film on this? It's too dodgy. 
so we've got so far to Lock Valley, which is this. The moonshine, I thought. Nice bit of moonshine. Nice. We've only done like three miles. But where we're heading is way beyond the hills. Too far, that's <laughs> well. I think it's just up there, I don't think it's that far really. Should be alright. Or uh, underestimated a bit. A little bit. I think if we had an extra hour of daylight, it would be alright, would be you better. Had if I hadn't had the extra pint, I, I suppose you've got a point. A <laughs> pint. I suppose you've got a pint. Once you have a breather, it's, it's alright. Oh, aye. Well, it's not, it's, it's hard, is it? It's not. Just Danny that's struggling. It's not uphill, I know, is it? Anyway, push on. <sighs> Head torches on. It's got dark. Pitch black, actually. Here comes a figure. Not the dark. That's weird, Rob. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Here is the wee Rob. Oh, feel the ice under the foot. It's just this bog is never ending. We're both board gators. Best thing we ever bought, man. Uh, the best time to buy gators on this this camp, anyway. Buy another GTX. Oh, his are the better uh, ones, like they had to be, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Ten pound more. <laughs> we, still, we still haven't worked at the difference. It's Rob over there. It's absolutely pitch black. I think it's six o'clock. Night hiking. You've got to have a good light, head torch. You've got to have good knowledge where you are. And especially on this ground, there's big holes opening up all over the place. We nearly got swallowed before by a giant hole. He was lucky. It's like boggy. And there's them sticky up hummocks of grass. And you've got to know what you're doing like. Hard work. Two and a bit of hours of took work to get here. This is the lock where we're staying though. Little beach up there, see what's like. According to Wayne's world, we're pitching on the beach. Literally on the beach. What's that tent, Wayne? The starlight. <laughs> <laughs> Starlight. <laughs> Starlight. <laughs> Starlight Express. It's the water. Tent. Right on the beach. Oh, that's a problem with this. It's sandy, it's everywhere. Usual setup. New bag. <laughs> Green butt skunk. Siam the Resurrection. Bucks Peach. And our favourite Jake Ed. That one. 8.4. Oosh. Wayne's here. In the starlight. In the starlight. Hands are cold. Got the Uber light and the starlight. <laughs> Let's have a look at the starlight. Jimmy was sitting back as well. You got the uber light in the starlight. Yeah. Rob's in his Una. Massive, look at the size of this. It's ridiculous. Look how neat yeah. it is. Oh, it's very neat. Very neat, Rob. <laughs> Who's the other yin? I threw it in the water. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's <laughs> walk in the mud. <laughs> There's the moon up there, look. Aye, perfect conditions like here. Yeah. I really hope it doesn't rain. We're right, we're right on the water course here, you know. Behind here, this is like a 
a drainage yeah. channel off the water and I'm right in the line of it. Oh yeah. So if it rains I'm gonna get washed away. Here's Danny. I think he's having a kip. Maybe back. Maybe back out. Aye. So I went for the new Rab bag. It sent 1100. A lot more down in it than the 900. That 900 of mine. It's a good bag, but it's seen better days. So I just thought I had a hell of a This came on special offer. So I got it. Alright, so I'm gonna have a beer and get something to eat. Warm up. Heavy because it does this much amount of shit. But it's light. You only have one charge type of thing. See how cold it is. Ice the coals on my nostrils. Can you make it out? Yeah, it's getting more and more icy now. Oh, no, it's getting. It's hey, getting... look at that. Look. The lock's freezing over. And they're walking. Let's take a shortcut with me. Uh, we'll just we'll just walk across there, the on. Oh. But we're all just getting more food. Danny's had his. Me and Rob's getting ours on. Oh, I've got this chicken curry. A couple of beers. Rob's getting there. Uh, let's have a look. Rob, always has like oh, gourmet meals and that. No, he's got the energy. Yeah, fucking. It's, it's not a boot for me, like, this is the best bit. That's like the fan I've got, a bit like that. Yours is slightly bigger. See, because it's thicker, it's just a fucking household palm, but it just spreads the heat a little better. I see what you mean about the What a place, though. The edge and... oh, you, I can see everything. I can see, I'm not like, you know, sat nice back up. inside. I mean, uh, I've got like half door shut, usually. In summer, I'd have that right open, and I can, do you know what? I just sit here on the edge, and I'm just, it's like just. Morning, campers. Howdy, hi. No. No, not a thing. Weather's turning. See the cloud coming over there. Oh, it's really cold and wet. You've got gators, Dan. So we're gonna get packed up and get out. Couple hours walking back. Good compass, though. The bag was unbelievably warm. Can't believe it. Oh, what a difference. Oh, there. Right. Sorted. So there it is. Oosh, there it is. That's it. Packed? Yep. Rob's packed. Always last. Always the last to know. Is that the medic? <coughs> eh, there's no weight in that. Soft, you've gone soft. Super light. No, oh, it's snowing like. You can see the white, the, the hills. Good little spot this on. Hey, hey, we'll set off. The long slog back. I don't know, that's three mile back in it. But it's hard three mile. So if anybody wants to come up here, you're bring, for a tough slog. Bring gators. <laughs> Boggy hell. Right. That's where we were pitched on that little beach. That's the stone I was standing on. A bit bolder. I've done quite a walk. All the way back along there. Around the back of the lock. All at this terrain. And we're here. And it's tough. Tough on the foot. It's all boggy as hell. So that's Ben Yellery for Carrie. That's where my new camped. Top of there. And that's the Merrick. John. The John Merrick. Camped on there as well. 
quite a bit of camping out here, like. And it's uh, about another two miles that way. Through this, it just gets worse, the bog. We've already been up to my knees in it. And you get us a ruined man to buy some new ones. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty. The can't, dirty. Be, can't be dealing with it. That walk back along there is hard. From the beach, all the way along there. There's no path, like. You just gotta make your own path of it up there. Down and around, across the river there. And then up the back of here. Can't get frozen solid. Not worse than frozen Snickers. Right, we'll crack on. hard that. It was only three and a half miles but it felt like about ten. Just kept stepping in bog and it was going up you way past your shins. It's really hard. It drains you. We're all done in. Cheers. Oh. So I don't know what we're gonna do now, just gonna get a break. Have something to eat. Regroup these packs off. Oof, if anybody comes to that Loch Neldrigan or the Loch Valley or even the rig, you need gaiters and proper waterproof boots because they just. Oof, I said what it was like. Look at that tree. How bizarre. Right, we're back anyway, off the, just up that road there, back to the car. So that's it for part one. Let's see if there's a part two. Welcome to part two of the Wild Compton Extravaganza. We've actually uh, checked in at the Hotel Mongo. All right, Wayne. Yeah, I'm just enjoying my pie. <laughs> and your beer next to your candle lid. All right, Rab. Oh, I'm very well. I'm in the pink. Who's it going? It's good. It's a bit smoky in here, like, but that's nothing to do with me. It's just the <laughs> way it is. Danny, how is it? Wonderful. How's the legs? <laughs> Jumping. <laughs> We're in a. Uh, what do you call them? Yacht. The yarn. That's just way more to call them. Ugh. Mongolian. Mongolian Mongoloid yarn. Mongoloid yachts. And I've got this beer for me, like sort of nearly my last one. Pinky's out because I do. No. So we're just going to sit back and enjoy this wild camp. So as you can probably imagine, there is no part two. This is part two.